welcome to History of American Music 101. Uh, professor, you think this is one of your uh, college classes? Well, of course. History of American Music 101. Um, but I thought, I thought you taught English. Yes. And Bible. Yes. History. Yes. Foreign languages. Music too? Well, sure. It's kind of like a language. Well, okay, is there anything you don't teach? Uh, yeah, I don't teach math and science. I leave that nasty stuff to you. All right, so I thought you were going to teach us a Bible lesson this morning about, you know, the love of God. Well, I will, eventually, but you've got to let me get to it in my own way. So we have to suffer through a lesson on history of American music first. All right, okay. All right, well, today I would like to tell you about the man known as the father of American music. Aaron Copeland? No. George Gershwin? No! <laughs> of course not. The man who wrote popular tunes in the mid-1800s like Swanee River and Beautiful Dreamer and My Old Kentucky Home. Okay, I think I know who that is. Yes? That would be Stephen Foster. That's exactly right. And why is he known as the father of American music? Well, because even during his own lifetime, his music was so ubiquitous. Wait a minute. What? Ubiquitous? Ubiquitous. You want to tell us what that means? Maybe you should sign up for my English class. So just tell us what it means. <laughs> it means his music was everywhere. His music was so ubiquitous that even during his lifetime, people thought that his songs were folk tunes, a hundred years old. Wow, that's really cool. But it doesn't seem to have anything to do with the love of God. Well, I'm getting there. Well, get there quickly, because I don't think Stephen Foster wrote any songs about the love of God. Well, well, uh, sort of in a roundabout way. In a roundabout way, he wrote a song about the love of God. You want to explain that? Well, uh, sure. Cody, you ready? Cody's going to come up and he's going to help us sing this song by Stephen Foster. All right. He's going to play the guitar. Mm-hmm. I'm going to sing the words, mm -hmm. and you're going to do the vocal fills. The, the, the vocal fills? Yep, what is that? Well, you know, you know how a drummer does drum fills at the end of the line, add something extra special in to fill the gap before the next line? Uh-huh. You're going to do that, except with your voice instead of the drum. I'm, I'm going to just add something in at the end of the line. Like what? Like, you'll figure it out. <laughs> maybe I won't figure it out. I'm pretty sure you will. Maybe, maybe we could get Cody to do it. I think he's probably better at that kind of thing. <laughs> it's your puppet, I mean, like. <laughs> All right. want me to, yeah, you don't, do you want to do it? No. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Jesus loved me this I know. Do da, do da, for the life. 